Over and over in the Old Testament, God's people promised to be faithful. God gave his law to show what he requires, but again and again, the people failed to obey perfectly. They rebelled and turned against God. Even when they wanted to obey God, they could never be good enough, no matter how hard they tried. Their sin made them guilty before God. They needed help. They needed a savior. At just the right time, God kept his promise to send a savior. Jesus came to rescue sinners. Sin is powerful, but Jesus is more powerful. A believer named Paul wrote about sin in a letter to Christians in Rome. Paul said that Jesus was the savior the people had been waiting for. This is what Paul said. Now there is no condemnation, no judgment or punishment for those who have been saved by faith in Jesus. Why? Because the new law, the law of the spirit, has set you free from the old law. The old law was written down and it helped you understand that you're a sinner. The old law brought sin and death. God sent Jesus to defeat sin and death so that we could be made righteous by faith in him and live through the spirit. God has put the new law right in our hearts. The new law brings life and peace. So Paul talked about two ways of living. Living by doing what our sinful self wants or living by doing what Jesus wants. Since Jesus frees us from the power of sin, we can say no to sin. God gives us his spirit and power to live in a way that honors God. Look, Paul wanted to be clear. Being not guilty before God doesn't mean that we should keep on sinning. God's spirit in us gives us power to turn away from sin and obey God. When we let the spirit lead us, we prove to be children of God. God doesn't just change something in us. He changes us. God gives us a new heart, new desires, and a new way of thinking. This is a miraculous gift from God. We still struggle with sin, but now what is most true about us is not that we are sinners, but that we belong to Jesus. God sent Jesus to take the punishment our sin deserves. Because of Jesus, we have forgiveness of sins and eternal life. And through God's spirit, we have the power to turn away from sin and live to bring glory to God.